The Caribbean region, with its diverse cultures, languages, and histories, is home to several different currencies used by its various countries and territories. These currencies are the backbone of their respective economies, facilitating trade and commerce, and serving as a symbol of national sovereignty. The Caribbean currencies come in different forms, with some countries adopting their own currency, while others use the currency of a more dominant country or international currency, such as the US dollar or euro. Each currency has its unique features and designs, as well as, of course, its value. Understanding the diverse Caribbean currencies, their histories, and their current status is crucial to comprehend the region's economic landscape and the challenges and opportunities faced by the various countries and territories. So today, we will address the various currencies you will find across the Caribbean region and rank them in terms of their strength. First, we start our intrepid list with the Guyanese dollar, which is $210.96 to one US dollar, the weakest currency on our list. Yes, one US dollar is equal to 210 of Guyanese dollars, but that doesn't mean it does not have much value. The Guyanese dollar was first introduced in 1839 and it has undergone several changes over the years. The current version of the currency was introduced in 2011 and features images of national symbols such as the national bird and the national flower. Despite its pretty look, the Guyanese dollar is not a widely traded currency and is primarily used for domestic transactions within the country. In reality, it is not commonly acceptable outside of Guyana and it can even be difficult to exchange for other currencies outside of Guyana. The Guyanese dollar is also considered a floating currency, meaning that its value is determined by the supply and demand in the foreign exchange market, and so too is its exchange rate. Unlike fixed exchange rate systems, where the value of a currency is pegged to a specific exchange rate with another currency or commodity, a float currency's value is free to fluctuate based on market forces. As Guyana continues to develop its natural resources, including oil and gas reserves, it is expected that the value of the Guyanese dollar will continue to evolve. Next up on our list, we have the economic giant that is Jamaica. The Jamaican dollar would therefore be considered the second weakest currency in the Caribbean, with one US dollar being equivalent to 154 Jamaican dollars. First introduced in 1969, the Jamaican dollar is subdivided into 100 cents, although cent denominations are no longer in use as of 2018, meaning that cash transactions are rounded to the nearest dollar. While the currency is the primary currency used in Jamaica, it is also accepted in some neighboring countries, such as the Bahamas and the Cayman Islands, and can be easily exchanged in other Caribbean countries. Like the Guyanese dollar, the Jamaican dollar is also a floating currency, meaning its value can be heavily influenced by Jamaica's economic and political situation, as well as the global demand for the country's currency. As a result, the country's currency has progressively been getting weaker, with the current exchange rate being the highest the country has experienced. We now move to our next currency, the Haitian Gourd, which is the official currency of Haiti. While Haiti may be considered the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, its currency is not the weakest. One US dollar is equal to 149.73 Haitian gourds as of the time of this production. Similar to our previous currencies, the Haitian gourd is a floating currency, and given the difficult history the country has experienced, it is no surprise that the country's currency value has fluctuated significantly. The value of the Haitian gourd has been volatile in recent years, with inflation rates skyrocketing and the currency experiencing significant depreciation. In 2019, for example, the gourd lost nearly 30% of its value against the US dollar. This has had a severe impact on the country's economy, causing prices of goods and services to soar and making it difficult for ordinary Haitians to make ends meet. We now move to our first Spanish-speaking country and its peso, the Dominican Republic, which was introduced in 1844 following the country's independence from Haiti and is currently 55.78 pesos to one US dollar. The Dominican Republic peso has come to be known over the years as one of the most stable floating currencies in the region, with the exchange rate to the US dollar barely fluctuating over the past 10 years. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, 
and turn on the notification bell for our future videos. Thank you. Next, we move down to the south of the Caribbean and come to a country currently experiencing a crisis with its currency, Suriname. Historically, the Surinese dollar has been pegged to the US dollar by the country's central bank, and as such, the exchange rate was fixed at 7.4 Surinamese dollars to 1 US dollar. However, meeting certain criteria placed a heavy burden on the country's central bank and in January 2021 changed the new rate to 14 Surinamese dollars, essentially halving the value of the dollar to other foreign currencies. The new limit too was unsustainable and has led the country to further and further devalue its currency in an attempt to relieve its central bank, which has led the country to drop to 21 to the US dollar and now removing the fixed rate to allow it to float like other currencies, which now puts the Surinamese dollar at 33.66 to 1 US dollar. This has led to an economic tool on Suriname and a complex topic on that subject, but keep an eye out as we tackle that subject in more detail. Next is the Cuban peso, which is 24 to 1 US dollar. The history of Cuba and its relation to the international world order is a complex subject for another video. But the Cuban peso is still a little complex. Before January 2021, Cuba had two simultaneous currencies. From 1994 to 2020, the Cuban peso was co-circulated with the Cuban convertible peso, which was a currency mainly used by tourists and outsiders in the country and was convertible to and fixed against the US dollar. There were strict parameters around who could exchange this currency. However, from the 1st of January 2021, Cuba implemented the so-called Day Zero of Monetary Unification, which abolished the Cuban convertible peso and left only the Cuban peso as legal tender in Cuba. A new exchange rate of 24 Cuban pesos to 1 US dollar became the applicable rate and is where it currently stands. Next up, we have the Trinidad and Tobago, which has had its own currency since 1964. There is not much to be said about the Trinidad and Tobago dollar, which is a good thing when it comes to currencies. The country's currency is a floating currency and has been a stable float currency for more than 20 years, with the current exchange rate being 6.78 Trinidad and Tobago dollars to 1 US dollar. We now come to the most used currency in the Caribbean, or the currency which serves as the legal tender for most Caribbean countries, the Eastern Caribbean dollar. The Eastern Caribbean dollar is the official currency used in eight countries located in the Eastern Caribbean region, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Established in 1983 to manage monetary policy for these countries, the EC dollar is pegged to the United States dollar at a fixed rate of 2.70 EC dollar to 1 US dollar, which has been in place since 1976. As a result of this fixed exchange rate, the value of the Eastern Caribbean dollar is highly dependent on the strength of the US dollar. While this system has provided stability for the region, it also means that the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, like all central banks of fixed currency, has limited ability to adjust its monetary policy to address economic issues within individual member countries. The aim, therefore, of a pegged EC dollar and central bank is to maintain price stability and promote economic growth in the region, and it does so by controlling the money supply, regulating commercial banks, and issuing government securities. As we come into the stronger currencies in the region, we have a tie between the Barbados dollar or Bayesian dollar and the Belize dollar. Both the currencies are fixed to the US dollar and are equivalent to two Barbados and Belize dollars to one US dollar. However, technically, the Barbados dollar is slightly stronger as the official peg to the US dollar is $1.98. However, most businesses on the island and the general convention is to accept one US dollars to two Barbados dollars because these currencies' exchange rate is fixed against the US dollar. The Barbados and Belize dollars are very stable and are easily exchanged throughout the region. The Barbados dollar is also used as a reserve currency in other Caribbean countries, including the Eastern Caribbean countries, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, and even in Belize. We have yet another tie for currencies between the Aruban Florin and the Netherlands Antillian Gilda. 
The Aruban florin, as the name suggests, is the official currency of Aruba, whereas the Netherlands Antillian Gilda is the currency used in St. Martin and Curaçao, both Dutch territories. The exchange rate of the Aruban florin and the Netherlands Antillian Gilda is pegged to the US dollar at a rate of $1.79 to one US dollar, making both currencies very stable. However, the future of the Netherlands Antillian Gilda is uncertain, as it is proposed to be replaced by a new currency, the Caribbean Gilda. However, the establishment of this new currency has stalled indefinitely by negotiations over the establishment of a separate central bank for Curaçao. As we come upon to the strongest currencies in the Caribbean, we have a joint third place for three currencies and a host of countries. The Bahamian dollar, the Bermuda dollar, and the US dollar are all valued at the same rate of 1 to 1. But what are the countries in the Caribbean that use the US dollar as their currency? Well, there are a few, they being Bonaire, St. Eustatius, Saba, Turks and Caicos, United States Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and British Virgin Islands. As you can see, many countries have resorted to using the US dollar instead of their own currencies or that of their territorial rulers, such as the case of the British Virgin Islands and the Caribbean Netherlands. But why is this? Well, essentially, it is because it is easier. These countries traditionally have close links to the US, including economic links which are aided using the same currency. In addition to this, the US dollar's dominance in the international market also makes it an attractive currency to use. Second, we come to another currency that has been adopted by many Caribbean territories, and that is the Euro. The Euro is the official currency of Guadeloupe, Martinique, St. Barthélemy, St. Martin, and French Guiana. And as of the posting of this video, 0.94 Euro is equivalent to 1 US dollar. Unlike the US dollar, there is not much explanation needed as to why so many territories in the Caribbean use the Euro. All the territories listed above are either part of France or the Netherlands, and constituent parts of these countries are fully aligned with their economic and monetary policies. And finally, we have the strongest dollar in the Caribbean, and by extension, one of the strongest currencies in the world, the Cayman Islands dollar. The Cayman Islands dollar was introduced in 1972 and actually replaced the Jamaican dollar as the official currency. Unlike many other currencies, the Cayman Islands dollar is not widely traded on foreign exchange markets and is primarily used within the territory for local transactions. The currency is pegged to the US dollar like many others on our list, at a fixed rate of 0.82 KYD to 1 US dollar, which means the Cayman Islands dollar is actually stronger than the US dollar. In conclusion, the Caribbean is indeed a region with diverse currencies, reflecting their history and current economic circumstances of each country. While some countries have established their own currencies, allowing them to chart their own monetary policy, others have decided to adopt the currency of other nations, which are stronger and offer a level of stability. Check out this video on the 10 Caribbean countries most indebted to the IMF. Overall, the currencies of the Caribbean are an essential aspect of the region's economic development and play a crucial role in the daily lives of its people. As the global economy continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how these currencies adapt and transform to meet the changing needs and demands of the region. Let us know what you think about this presentation in the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts. We would also like to thank you for watching and remind you to please like, share and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted about our next video as we tackle the Caribbean's complexity. This is Jaira Caribbean.